What's up guys, this is Mike aka RibTech and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to your PC using Steam. We are less than one week away from the launch of the PS5 here in the United States and some people have already received their DualSense controllers. These controllers can be used to play games on the PC. All you have to do is set it up using Steam and I'm going to show you how. First thing you're going to want to do is go down to your search bar, type in Bluetooth down here. You'll get this menu to pop up. Once this pops up, you'll click on add Bluetooth or other device. Then you'll get this menu right here. Under this menu, you'll wait. You'll get your PlayStation controller right here. You're going to want to press the PlayStation button and the content button. These two together right here. And if you can see it in the video, it'll start flashing. Once it starts flashing, it'll show up as a wireless controller. You're going to go ahead and click on that and go ahead and hit done. All right. So now that you have your controller connected via Bluetooth to your computer, you're going to open up Steam in the top left corner. You're going to click on Steam, go to settings, then you're going to go to controller. Once you're there, you're going to go to general controller settings. And then from here, you're going to see your controller down at the bottom. It'll say wireless controller. When you initially see it, you're going to click on that device. And then you're going to go to define layout. And then from there, it's going to give you this button mapping guide. So every uh, button that lights up green, you're just going to press the corresponding button on your controller. So this looks like an Xbox controller. This is the A button. So on the PlayStation controller, it'll be an X and you just follow along right here, pressing the corresponding buttons. Then when you're done, you'll go to the bottom and you'll click save. And then once you save it, it'll give you a little menu that'll pop up and on that menu it'll ask you what type of controller it is you need to set it to a playstation 4 controller the reason that i can't show that on here is because i've already installed the controller so make sure once you go through and you map all the buttons and you save it you go ahead and make sure that it's a playstation 4 controller all right so you're going to exit out of there we'll go open this back up and then you're going to want to put on generic gamepad configuration support. That's key. That's the last step to doing this. Now, once that gets done, you leave that right there. And you also put PlayStation configuration support. At the time of filming this video, the DualSense controller only works on Steam. I'm sure they'll come out with a patch later on after the release of the PlayStation 5 that allows you to use it in other applications. But for right now, we're going to continue on through Steam. We're going to go find a game. I'm going to pick a first person shooter. We're going to do Doom Eternal. What you're going to want to do on every game is you're going to want to right click it, go to properties. Once you're in properties, you're going to see Steam input per game setting requires restart of game. So you're going to click on that and you're going to go to forced on. It's going to be default to use your global steam input settings change it to forced on close it out all right now we'll click on this and let the game load all right guys we're in the doom combat trainer i got the controller with me right here we're going to test it out see how it goes movement feels really good left trigger right trigger left trigger right trigger jump button works uses the d-pad Swap mods, use our mods. Everything works great. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit like and subscribe for me. I have tutorials on how to set up your stream using Twitch and Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. I also stream four days a week on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash RivTech with two Ks. I'm also RivTech with two Ks on all socials. Everything's linked down in the description below. If you have any questions, any suggestions, or any recommendations for a new video, make sure to leave a comment below. Until next time, guys, see ya.